Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. If you guys have a car that has too much pressure in your cooling system, we'll explain what are the top five reasons for that. Make sure guys you stay until the end. We'll explain everything from start to finish and what can cause you to have too much pressure in your cooling system. As you can see, we have that engine completely apart so we can demonstrate for you guys. Every car we get at the shop, we'll be making at least 200 videos on it guys. Our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys take advantage, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys we can save you some money. Now, we're going to go ahead and start guys and explain what can cause to have too much pressure in your cooling system. We're going to start with the cheapest reasons, cheapest solutions guys, and we'll go towards the more complicated ones and the one that will cost you quite a bit of money. First guys, if you have too much pressure in your cooling system, it could be due to the fact that you do not have enough coolant in your system guys. This is the coolant overflow reservoir, this is the coolant reservoir and you can see how it states minimum, maximum. If you have not enough coolant in your system, guys, what will happen? That coolant, guys, will get hot. Okay, this is okay. This is where your coolant is, guys. Uh, right here. This is the engine block, cylinder block, right here. Check it out now. This is cylinder block. This is the uh, cylinder head, and that's where your coolant is. By the pistons, you can see pistons right here. Is the cooling passages around the cylinders. Now, if you do not have enough coolant, the coolant that's already in the engine block will get hot and it will turn into steam. That steam creates pressure. So, that's reason number one. Reason number two, bad radiator cap. cap. So, let's get this one and show you quick, guys. This cap, okay, check it out. It says 21 PSI pressure. So, they're uh, regulated at some certain pressure, guys. And if that cap malfunctions, okay, you can create too much pressure in your system, too. There is kind of like a valve inside that opens and closes at certain pressure, guys. Reason number two. Now, we get to a little bit more expensive one. We get reason number three, guys. Could be a thermostat that is stuck closed, guys. Thermostat that is stuck, stuck closed will not let cold engine coolant to get inside the cylinder head and the uh, cylinder block. And as a result, your car will start overheating, turning that coolant into steam and you will build pressure. Now we are getting, guys, to reason number four and five you just hope that's not the case reason number four guys cylinder head gasket this is actually a common case especially if you overheated the car this is your cylinder head gasket guys you can see those are your cylinders and the pistons inside that's where the compression happens and that's your cooling passage right here next to each cylinder you can see how close it is it's like uh, less than probably one centimeter probably uh, one third one fourth of an inch something like that guys and what happens guys if the uh, cylinder head gasket fails coolant guys will uh, okay uh, the compression will leak in the coolant that's where the compression happens in the pistons in the cylinders and it will leak in the coolant and that pressure will cre create guys pressure in the cooling system now usually if that happens you will be able guys to see bubbles okay in your reservoir bottom you'll be able to see bubbles coming from the car especially if you rev it up why because that will be compression that will be gas coming in the coolant guys and your coolant will smell a little bit like gas too so that could be guys okay another reason and reason number five guys he has the same symptoms as a head gasket but it's either a cracked cylinder head guys or it's a cracked cylinder block, so you just hope that doesn't happen. Block doesn't happen so often yet. We've seen that happen uh, sometimes. So hopefully, guys, that video will clear things out and will give you a light uh, where to start and what to do. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.